Banana, Butterfinger. Let's answer an email. Danny writes, Dear Danny, it's me. You, from the past. I was wondering if you could talk about how functioning magnetic resonance imaging has changed how scientists think about creativity. Okay, so sometimes I write myself requests. So what? Welcome to the Gradual Report, where we gradually report. Banana. Butterfinger. The fMRI allows scientists to look into brain activity in a more in-depth sort of a way. It has dispelled the notion that there is a specific part of the brain that deals with pleasure or creativity. Rather, chemicals like dopamine shuttle around all the different parts of the brain, and more specifically, the paths that they travel over laparface. What? And interestingly, through fMRIs, the scientists have discovered that the paths of perception and creativity tend to overlap quite a bit. Neuroscientists theorize that what you see is not just a function of the impulses sent from your eyes to your brain, but also a function of the paths that the neurotransmitters take around your brain. Thus, the electric impulses from your eyes are coupled with the pre-existing thoughts in your brain to formulate the image. <gasps> I still not understanding. Oh. You are a dense fucker, aren't you? Let me see if I can confuse you more. The brain is a very efficient part of your body. Why would it create a new neuropathway for something that already exists inside it? Starting to make sense? Banana. Butterfinger. And so with our brain becoming more efficient, it gets harder to have new ideas that aren't, that aren't couched in pre-existing ones. And then what does life become? A script in which we all play a recurring part, every day bleeding into the next while we wait to die. But wait! There is a way out! You could kill yourself! No, no, wait, don't do that. Ah. Uh, although technically that is a way out, there is another way out. Fortunately, the networks that govern perception and imagination, they just need to be reconfigured in order to see the same things in a different way. Banana. Butterfinger. The way to do this is to introduce yourself to novel stimulus by doing something you've never done before. Oh. It's different. It's certainly different. It tastes like yellow. Final summation, your brain is a lazy son of a bitch. And you've got to change things up in order to keep it alert. The more radical the change, the more likely the fresh insight, and the less likely you'll wake up wanting to die. I'll see you tasty little banana butterfingers. Yeah. I'll see you tasty little banana butterfingers tomorrow, where we continue our important work. Uh, it itches, but there's nothing there. I, what, what the hell's that about?